this is the only way I know how to win in Southern California traffic. You take a motorcycle. It may look fine now. Just give it a few minutes. You can always tell who sees you by the subtle movements. Like this guy to my left in the Kia, shift it over, gets a wave. This guy way up here in the Chevy, totally saw me. It's a nice gesture, gets a wave. Lexus, I don't think they saw me. Fat bastard didn't move. It's important because you know something that shifts isn't gonna slide into you. Everyone now should be really cautious. They can anytime dart into the next lane. So I'm looking at the cars that are right in the left and looking for gaps. So when I see a gap, like this one to my left here, you watch that Civic, watch this Beamer, make sure they don't want to jump in that gap. Another gap coming in front of me. Is anyone making any subtle movements? Can't account for everything, but. After a while, I get a feel of who's going to do something impulsive. I'll let this guy go. I got another splitter behind me, so he wants to split faster, which is fine. If he wants to go too fast, and I'll let it go. It's nice to get in a line with other people splitting because the cars will stay parted as you keep popping through. It's a courtesy too. Someone's behind you and they're, uh, they're getting too close. They're indicating that they want to split faster. And it's not up for you to judge what's, what's reckless and what's not. You just get the hell out of the way. You can see how 
a 28 mile drive, whatever it is, can be an hour, hour and a half on a bad day, or 25 minutes if you're on a bike. You just keep moving. You just keep moving. This guy was kind of riding me a little bit too tight. And in the end, he wants to split slower than me. So I'm ask you, my friend, next time get up my ass, so I don't misinterpret. But you can see when I'm behind him, cars are already pushed over from him coming through. most of them. Wow, look at that, look at that double maneuver there. <laughs> oh my god, you guys like dancing. That's great. Hope that one gets on camera. They must be twins. I know is the relative speed between you and the cars that you split in between certainly impacts your reaction time in case someone does something you don't anticipate so you know these cars are going very slow you start going 50 60 miles an hour between them I don't know if that was a wave or a finger and so it moves you have much less time to react and you're probably gonna go over uh, over their hood Trunk, whatever, it, whatever it is. You try to find your own balance, whatever you feel is safe. But my personal thoughts are: you 10, 50 miles an hour faster than the cars you're around is probably in the safer zone. I definitely get uh, over that level myself, so.
use my detour by the beach because I don't like to only see highway scenery on the way to work. What you see, what you're surrounded by, who you talk to, affects your move for the rest of the day. So some serene scenery by the beach, try to work. Makes the day run smoother. I'm sure this guy's doing. But it'll sneak in between you either way. Is that a view or is that a view? Look at that. <clears throat> Amazing. I know you can't smell it right now, but it smells like flowers. It smells like flowers! It's beautiful. Some more scenery. I'll let you get a look here instead of splitting through this junk. Just look at this. It's magnificent. It's a good start to anybody's day. <laughs> 